All right, everyone. Welcome to the uh, semifinals of the 2018 U.S. Star Wars CCG National Championship. Uh, I am joined here with uh, Brian Fred, who's going to commentate this game with me. Hello. And uh, right now we are watching uh, 3MW0J8. A.K.A. Wampa1. A.K.A. Wampa1, A.K.A. Mr. R. Smith, who is playing the new light objective from V9. No uh, idea something or other um, and we watched this game eight yesterday uh, if you saw it and um, so we talked about some of the cards we'll briefly go over them again today if you're not familiar with the deck if you didn't see that stream yesterday um, we'll talk about them and Salucci is playing Dark Senate who we saw last game if you were watching the stream against um, Gogolin's Diplo uh, it's got a lot of space some senators and some EP malls and um, Guess let's. Uh, oh, oh! First, let me let me uh, make an announcement for you. Forty-five people listening to this. Uh, Chris, Mr. Chris Kelly, our new design advocate, has asked me to remind everyone that uh, applications, if you want to join design and development, are due July thirty-first. That is in two days. So you got you got a couple days left. Um, if you go onto the forums and you go into the announcements board, there's a post about applying to be on design and development so if you love this game you want to volunteer and help and help influence the direction of the game if you think dark side's broken now and we really need to make better light side cards I feel the dark is pretty powerful right, right now. right right brian fred's with me on this we need more dark side cards or more light side cards and 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 we need to hurt dark more so, so tto was in the top eight so yeah two more <laughs> more tto well. counters yep. um but if you are interested in joining design and development volunteering to help with this game, um, please go on the forums. Uh, she wants, somebody and, wants and, to see the Stardust objective. And and go look. Um, Stardust and the objective. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring up those cards in a sec. Just wanted to mention that announcement. Um, please do, if you are interested, go on and apply for that. Um, so uh, it looks like they're about to get started. Salucci's going to do a 12 card start. Um, so he's going to draw 12 cards for his opening hand. And Reed Smith has heading for the medical forget. And uh, uh, I think Brian's. Brent Fred here is pretty familiar with Reed's deck, so he'll be he'll be adding a lot of thoughts for us on on Reed's game plan. I don't know. I mean, it's got a lot of potential. I don't know if I like Reed's version, but it's got a surprise factor, and that always helps. I heard that uh, Matt Cruley designed this deck. One of the I think it was Matt. Yes, and uh, I think a lot of people had the idea for this deck, but this build is Matt Cruley's masterpiece. What's the name of the I have no idea. I'm Definitely trying to, not. I'm trying man. to pull up the. Uh, oh, I know V9 was not working. It's not the name of the objective. Is not Point Man. It should be. All right, V9. I'm going to pull up this objective for everyone, um, so we can talk real quick about what it does. Because I know it's going to be new to a lot of you. It's pretty new to me, as well. Um, here is the front side. It's called. They have no idea we're coming. And what it does is, is you deploy the Scarif system. The data vault was Stardust, which is the the tapes that you see under the site there and the Masasi War Room. And you can't play Jedi for the rest of the game. Um, and Baze, Chirrut, and Rebel Troopers are spies. So this deck revolves around having a bunch of spies. And on the front side, you can download a Rebel ship each turn, except for Home 1 or the ma Maintenance Reflections 3 Falcon. Or you can download a Scarif site. And to deploy to a Scarif uh, site, it costs plus two if you don't already have a character there, unless they're a spy or imperial. So you need to first deploy a spy, and then your guys are cheaper. And then you flip it if you control two Scarif locations. Reed um, has played all wings to get Red 5V, it looks like. So Red 5V is uh, real good with Luke because it's completely immune to attrition, and the Scarif system makes Rogue One, the ship, completely immune to attrition as well. So if uh, one of Salucci's big plans is to get a bunch of attrition with, with Toonbuck and add to attrition with all those senators, but if Reed's immune, adding to attrition doesn't really help. So um, you can see I pulled up the Scarif system there. It says if Rogue One's piloted by a rebel there, it's immune to attrition. So complete immunity will be big against Salucci. Um, before we talk a little bit more about some of the cards in this, let's let's talk about the match in general. I think what Salucci is going to be looking to do is hit that system hard, probably not deploy any of his own systems for, for quite a while. Um, he he has uh, lots of Destiny, Baron, and Slave One, and Guri, Guri and, um, Tarkin, and Shuttle. Tarkin, Shuttle, all that. Um, 
And then, of course, he has a, a Baron's Gun as well. We saw him play that in Diplo. He lost that to a Yeb Yeb early, and that will be good against stuff like Red 5, um, any other ships that, that might be in the deck that are not capitals. Um, so he'll be wanting to, to pile there and draw a bunch of Destiny and, and clear out space, and well, and then hit and run on the ground with Maul. And while Reed, I imagine, will be trying to survive in space, take the Stardust and do, do direct damage, damage with that, um, there is an Imperial Decree can reduce that from 2 to 1, and then drain at the beach for 2, and uh, and drain, you know, drain on the ground. So, you have any other thoughts on how Reed might approach this? I think this is going to be a tough game for Reed. I think this Lucy has a lot of the answers for cards that Reed is going to Whoa. want to use, and... Because Salucci is going to be looking to hit the run, it's going to be less effective for the strategy that Reed of uh, beating down, which is one of the strategies Reed's version of the Scarab deck does. So Salucci plays the uh, the bridge, and he pays one to surface defense and pull the combat response. So now he'll be able to move his tie and, and flash for matching ships. Um, one thing I did hear is is Mishki took something li like a million overflow on his third turn or something from Reed playing this light deck. So there's some kind of beatdown potential Reed has, and um, if if Slucci's aware of that, though we did see Slucci has two gigs because he canceled Spiral mm, React yeah, twice. That's so another reason that would be rough for Reed. That will help I against any sort of beatdown stuff. Um, I did just pull up the backside. Oh, and Slucci plays a spin to grab out to grab out a ship. Um, uh, to just pull up the backside of this objective, so we paused there. It was flip if you control two Scarif uh, locations. And the backside is, while this side up, your spies are defense value plus two and power plus one with the Stardust. Um, so your spies become pretty hard to, to hit, kill, choke, force lightning. And they're immune to undercover, so you can play ones that are undercover, like Bausch, who, who just automatically are, or Jin, but you can't play the undercover effect on them. Um, if Stardust is on your spy, so which we'll pull up in a minute, but it, it relocates to basically be carried by a spy, and then if it's lost, it relocates over to the vaults. Um, they can't cancel your force drains at battleground, so no strategic reserve stuff, things like that. Uh, once per turn, you can place a rebel in your lost pile out of play to cancel a just drawn destiny targeting ability or defense value of your rebel. So that protects not just spies who are defense value plus two, but all rebels. You can basically cancel any destiny targeting their ability to defense. So things like Force Lightning, Choke, P-59, a, a, a lightsaber swing at them, things like that help protect them. Or they can make a regular move during your control phase. So you can have them move over and drain and then consolidate, do that sort of mini Cantina can Shuffle, Lore Senteca type thing. And it'll flip back if you don't occupy two Scarif locations. Unless you have Rogue One there, you can just have Rogue One and not flip back. So Reed, it looks like, deploys the docking bay and the beach. We bring up Stardust. Yep. The, the deployment modifier is only at the sites, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so EPP Mall will cost nine instead of seven, most likely. Um, he'll need to take that take that into account. So Reed, uh, Reed plays. General Cricks to the War Room. The War Room lets you download a leader. So he uses the War Room's text. Unless he... Where's his... What three effects did he start? Can Would you mind going to check? They're not on... Walkling. Uh, Walkling. Insurrection aim high because he pulled a docking and, bay. And uh, squadron assignments. And squadron assignments. Okay. Okay. So he did He did not use strike planning Cricks to pull Cricks. Scout. Yeah. He used, he used um, the War Room to download one. Cricks. And Cricks, he uploaded... Who was it? Arliss Kraken. The Kraken. virtual virtual Kraken. Kraken. Okay. And then he plays 3PO to the docking bay, and it looks like he's just going to draw a couple, maybe save a couple. All right, so Stardust, that's the card you see under the data vaults there. Um, deploys on the data vault at any time. If you got a spy there, you can relocate it to them. And during the control phase, right? No, no, no. Any time it relocates, but it does damage during the control phase. Um, if it's at on a spy at a battleground you occupy, so you have to have presence there. The spy can be undercover, but you have to have another dude there then. They lose two force. Um, and if it's about to leave the table, you put it back on the data vault. So generally, you want to get a spy there and, and transfer the Stardust to them and start doing that that damage every control phase. Salucci, it looks like... Do we know what Salucci has uh, in Pro Decree? He does, he does have a Decree, yes. Uh, Salucci plays the Prison. 
So he's getting his activation. He doesn't have any senators out yet, but he's probably going to be looking it to. It didn't look like he had much for the it, it, senators in his hand. No, it looked like start. he didn't get a great draw, so he he just kind of drew that first turn. But... Well, not particular. I mean, so he got one of his two Twixes. Now he's got both out, but he he also two. doesn't have. Yeah, it took. It was the second turn he got the second one, and he doesn't have hover cam or senators, so he's just drawn a bunch. Um, it's going to make him vulnerable to Grimtosh if if he has think... that. Uh, I can't remember. I mean, it is Art Smith, but... Um, next thing I'm going to pull up for you guys is the data vault itself. So Salucci uses an accelerate to look for another accelerate, so he knows what else is in his force pile to know if he should draw more. So that's always a, a good thing to do if you're looking... You want to know what's in your force to know if you draw or not. And uh, this is for Justin the Psy, we verify that Salucci, in fact, does not have a white wing in his light side deck. <laughs> Um, it was six, card 61, though. For, uh, oh, also, if you were watching the last game where Salucci, like, peeled a bunch in a confusing indoor battle with lateral damage, he, he, he had a brain fart. Basically, what happened was he was down by seven, seven attrition, seven power. He was 13 power to opponents 20, but what he did is he went, all right, I have 13 power. And then he was like, I need to lose 13 force. Some so he was like, for some reason, he switched in his head how much force he needed to lose versus how much power he had. So he thought he had to cover 13 instead of just 7. He should have just lost Ray. And instead what he did is he lost Yane for 3, peeled 3, and then lost Ray. And all of those were legal actions. He's Since he had to cover 7 attrition, losing Yane works. He's still down in power, so still losing 3 and then losing Ray. That, those were all legal actions. So there was like... I mean, his opponent can't say, "Oh, you're over forfeiting" or anything. He just uh, okay. he just made a mistake. Um, so that that if you were confused with us last game, that's what happened. Um, he was in fact not. So now to now, <laughs> Salucci has about a twenty card hand there. One, two, three, three, three. There's at least a basket. He's got. Yeah, uh, I saw one senator. Yeah, he's just not finding many senators or squabblings, but he did have a ton of space. He's got the stinger. He's got. Oh, he has lot dodge too. I think that's lot dodge. He's he's right he's got Gurian stinger. He's got Baron and or saber one and slave one. Um, his his problem might be just if he actis, activates those guys, so he's not able to flash form. It that looks is not like corporal mage. Greaves. It looks like uh no. No, it's a virtual of whoever mage is. Oh okay. That guy, I think, makes troopers power and forfeit minus one, which we found out in playtesting a game last night. That he had forgot about all game. Oh, I guess map. map against him. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so it looks like um, what he's going to do here is is get a spy down. He deploys Blount and Rogue One straight to the system. I was thinking what he might do is is put a spy, take the data vault, move over. Oh, he he has the the beach and. And uh, docking bay swapped, so I, I think I think putting the docking bay in the middle is a little bit better because then you can steal the tapes, move over, embark on Rogue One, and fly up, and you can do damage in space. Um, but That's what Jonathan Murray did when we played. But in this and the game I play tested with Reed, he put the, the sights like that. So huh. I don't know. Do you know why? No, okay. I didn't ask about it. Okay, probably well, should have. So so right I was here. Tired last night. Right here, he. Uh, I mean, and maybe he just wants to get a. Beach, the beach drain established and, and get around battle order and stuff. Maybe he doesn't want to have everything at the system. Um, but I do like that option if you're aware that. So he pulls out a rebel trooper recruit. recruit that covers all attrition when it's with a rebel leader. So his thing is to try and get that guy with back to tank going. Okay. So so that's a neat trick for space, I'm assuming. Does he work in space or just at a site? I Let's pull him up. All right. Um, I had a rebel trooper recruit in my deck since I played sealed deck like 20 years ago. <laughs> Come on, why is this search not working? Here we go. Rebel Trooper Recruit. Um, when forfeited at same site as Rebel Leader. Okay, that's what I thought. Because otherwise that would be amazing in space if you could just be completely immune to attrition. Oh, but then why Ooh. would he need to satisfy attrition? That's silly. So Salucci has yeah. the first strike in hand. Salucci has a third of his deck in hand. Um, so... So he takes the the uh, stolen tapes and he moves over to the beach, and then he pays one to land. So now he is just sitting at the beach, which will be a drain of two. What is that character? Uh, 
One of them is the trooper minus one guy, and one of them, when you play him, you draw the bottom of the card of your use pile, and when he dies, you draw the bottom okay. card of your use pile. But we'd have to bring them up to know yeah, the exact text. Yeah, dude. Okay. I just remember That's he fine. had both of those guys when we played Destiny last night. Um, they're just spies. That oh, are yeah, every guy yeah, yeah. is a spy. Okay. So um, right now he's poised to drain two at the beach and do two direct damage, and do two direct damage with the vault or with the uh, tapes. So we'll see how Salucci responds. I think most likely he's going to set up some senators and set up some ships. So he's threatening his own damage. And if he can, get out of the decree. Yeah, he'll probably set up the ships first. So when he wants to battle with first strike, he'll be able to retrieve. Yep. Um. No, it's not Chariot. They're random. The two guys that are out are random trooper guys. Yeah. Because we've got a question in spies. chat: If Reed is playing any Admiral's Order, or if there are any green card, any weapons. Um, we don't have the deck list because I know the answers, but I don't know if I should say it on chat because unless if it's not seen in this game, it would give information possibly to other players. Well, so so apparently there was a complaint that someone was worried about their information being given out on stream and people having extra information. Um, uh, so we don't have the deck lists available today. Um, I think that's kind of a mistake, uh, but... I liked the guy's comment there, the last guy. <sighs> Wavesman says, Fred, what protection does Reed have in the deck to prevent a beatdown on Cricks? Hoojix. <laughs> Hoojix is, is good... What, which is what I told him to. I was, just like, uh, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this plan. But he was like, yeah, dude, you just put Cricks there by himself. It's great. I was like, okay, Reed. He didn't listen to anything I told him he should like do anyways, so he pretty much just wrote down a deck list. Oh, yeah, these are fine. Emil says uh, Insurrection obviously protects it from Ellis, and yeah. no spies can be deployed there. So presence Why of the force is the only... Why can't spies be deployed there? I thought it was Dodonna that says spies cannot be deployed there. Yeah, Dodonna, right. So Crix is, Crix is still vulnerable since no Dodonna is out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you guys watching the stream have an opinion on on decklists being used by commentators or not um we'd like input yeah yeah post post feedback on the forums but for now we don't have exact knowledge um and i'd like to point out for michael erisman since he started the competitive balance thread of old allies versus dark side lightsaber combat the dark side lightsaber combat did in fact beat old, old allies. allies by like 15 or 14 or something so yeah. no competitive balance necessary apparently. Yeah, you don't need to post opinions in chat in the Twitch chat because it's just gonna it's never recorded or saved anywhere. But post on the forums your thoughts about the commentary after. And it looks like he doesn't have lot dot. He just deploys Edsel oh, and Edsel Baskel. Bergen. So those, between three lot dots and three squabbles and, those and guys drawing don't even twenty flip cards, his he can't even find. Those guys he, don't even flip. Um, yeah, those guys don't flip his objective. I don't so think. he drops you three PO. I'm imagining they're double agent, um, in there something to deal with, but U3PO is useful to stop the bleeding corn, right now. Corn, like corn definitely. Um, so, apparently, Dark Combat is like a friggin' chainsaw in the Whoa. What happened? Dark um, Combat's beating uh, Diplo? Yes. Tom hates Diplo? Yes. Okay. Like, broke a tr immunity to attrition, but then took six overflow. Luke had to battle into Vader. Failed to clear Vader because he no longer had enough plus X to break the attrition. And, I mean, Luke covered, but I mean, he drew He's nines. losing stuff. Yeah, drawing nines is good. Yep. Gamer Girl agrees in the chat. Yeah, that's that's funny. She agrees drawing nines is good. Drawing nines is good. And she um, agrees Yeb Yeb is good, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Big Yeb Yeb fan. <laughs> Um, so, all right. So right now, Reed, uh, it's it's Reed's turn. Salucci just did the Senators, the hover cam. That's going to give him some three more activation and, and the U3PO. So he's going to have to eat two this turn. But I think... There's Nightfall. All right, so Reed plays pays three with Walkling to pull Nightfall. And uh, so play Salucci the shield. plays a shield that means all, all the spies are going to cost two now instead of whatever their deploy was. Um, because Nightfall makes them free, and then the free shield says you have to pay two instead of free. Um, so Reed's going to ping two 
with the stolen tapes and um, I think Salucci's going to be looking to set up the system next turn and still still can't find that lot dodd <clears throat> which would help him because then he could pull all his, his stuff that he needs um, he loses a spin and a phantom menace and obviously phantom menace is a good good thing to lose because there's no Jedi in the deck so it, it's text is effectively blank except for goes used if Maul lost so if he wanted it used to track a 7 but he, he'd rather lose it so Nightfall comes down and that's Galen or so I do believe okay so he's putting the hover cam in the use pile uh, nice. yep he uses Galen to, to take away the hover cam that's a once per game he can send an effect that is not immune to alter to opponent's use pile so that's strategic reserves or hover cam or expand the empire things like that General Kraken comes down and a rebel trooper recruit so it's just a whole mess of guys and I'm I think you can probably see how Mishki, who was playing that Set Your Course mains, wasn't seeing this coming and, and played a, a, a Dark Jedi down to Scarif, probably to the Data Vaults to try and slow down Reed, and then Reed went Nightfall Spy, so it was by Peel, you don't Peel have Dirty Overflow on the third. It's just yeah. like such an advantage. Like, I lost a Tom Hate on turn four to Trooper beat down. Yeah, we watched, so. that, we watched that Trooper deck yesterday, game three, against uh, Scott Lingrell, and uh, it's, it's quite the beating. All right, so Slucci pays three to accelerate for the hover cam that had just been placed used. Getting some good use out of his accelerates in this game. Obviously, Reed won't want to grab them. I finally grabbed it against Slucci in our game, and then he played Dark Maneuvers twice. I was like, okay. All right, so um, Edsel's... Uh, Prevents opponent from only drawing one destiny on the ground, so he'll he'll negate Kraken's um, adds one if you, with only spies and uh, and if there's any other destiny adders. And Baskel pings if you're at Nabu location, which he's he's clearly not. Um, we can't see Reed shields. I'm assuming battle plan is out because otherwise he would have drained Probably there. Grabber. Yeah. Well, so you, you, Yeb Yeb comes down. I think we're all a fan of Yeb Yeb. <laughs> uh. <laughs> she likes him so much because she once cosplayed as Yeb Yeb at Gen Con. The dental work is the hardest part of that cosplay. It is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, Gamer Girl points out in the chat that Decree wasn't in there when he when he accelerated. Um, I think he I think he activated first, so he could know what was in his force pile, and he knew he was taking the hover cam. But he might not just thought of decree, because otherwise that would have been a, a good card to grab. Though right now it wouldn't do anything because he's not at a battleground to be able to reduce the damage. So he peeks and has to read the card. Oh, seeking an audience, non V. Seeking an audience, non V. It pulls uh, his Lando, his R two D two, and his C three PO. Ah, so he's playing um, Lando with Vibroax. Yes. Because um, he's a spy. Because he's a spy, so he's free. So we see uh, Seeking an Audience non-V here, which says, Once during each of your turns, may deploy one Underworld Contacts, uh, Jabba's Palace Lando, Jabba's Palace Leia, R2, or 3PO. So it's it's pretty good. Surprisingly, surprisingly, he didn't just make him lose it, which I thought he would yeb yeb every single card. Hmm. So that's interesting. Do you think so? Why? Why do you feel like he's behind in the match? The no, no. I just think that, he... that, like, you know, that's what Yeb Yeb does. Is he just like goes oh. to town? Yeah. I mean, it's it's like a visage. It's a double-edged sword. I I wouldn't always do it, but that's fair. Depends. So, um, I you know I think the onus obviously is on Salucci to do something here because he's taking two damage a turn and he's not doing any however Lot Dodd um, will help him find stuff yeah he's Reed also can't just sit back and be, be happy with his two damage because if he gives Salucci too Still much time to set creep. up um, so he has to take the Phantom Menace Phantom Menace was lost oh, I thought he had two I thought when he shuffled two there was the Phantom Menace yeah. nope, so no effect obviously not so that's a bummer. Decree must be one of the bottom four cards there, but he'll be able to lot for it soon. 
but you always want a lot dot for other good cards and that's a problem in it especially we saw in when he played against the diplo he drew a kashik for destiny at one point and it, it didn't really matter because i think it was a swing on owen and baru and he hit anyway but um you, you since he's playing these systems it lo looks like he loses one from hand and uh the accelerate for the damage of two when you're playing these these systems nabu and kashik and you want to go to opponent system like in Diplo or in the Scarif, then they just end up floating in mm -hmm. there. And you could pull them with Lot Dodd, but there's always a better card to pull. Yeah. And so they end up with just these floating zeros and they're Baroni super annoying. Drew, uh, Texas Mini Rolls drew his Nabu twice against me for Battle of Destiny. Yeah, that's, that's brutal. Um, so yeah, Reed can't give... We saw Gogolin gave, gave uh, Salucci a lot of time to set up when he when he was kind of sitting back on that civil and, and Salucci was choked a little bit early on and but then Salucci was able to get get all his space and start doing damage and um, Rebel Commando team a spy <laughs> they're a spy? oh yeah because they're a trooper troopers are spies oh troopers are spies I know, wow it's ridiculous so Rebel Commando team is going to come down and for two force it looks like force. he is playing seeking an audience and Salucci didn't make him lose it so he picked it up with 3PO so that's why maybe yeah, yeah, oh, 3PO should have made it lost yeah and that just pulled Lando with Axe so, for two, yeah, another two cost dude. He's so, piling all these guys up so he can use Odin Nestor to transform, transport them over to, I don't know, the Senate. No, he can't go to. The oh, Senate. that's it's interior. Not yeah. He it's battleground or an exterior. So if it was a battleground, he doesn't actually play that card. By the way, <laughs> I'm just not sure what he's doing I, with all those dudes. Maybe getting enough fodder to go up to the system. Uh, it could be. It doesn't help if it just gets uh tie gun it looks like Salushi does have the cannons in his hand does he have any any a few maneuvers or I guess we're going I don't believe so okay there might be one X a few maneuvers or does he have like an X-wing gun to shoot it down first I do think he has that and he's got R2-D2 that adds like three oh, okay. maneuver so okay so we're red gonna five, see a dogfight in red space five would this be will be a huge this maneuver. will be interesting yeah, red five is a base six. R two, which he can download with the seeking yep. effect, makes it an eight. Yep. Um, or it's a base four, but if Luke's aboard, it's it's a six, and Luke will be aboard. So two. There's lot da 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 da. -da. So he has to get his uh, oh. one for Orn Frita. Now we can now we can see if Gamer Girl is right, and we'll see if he's a good Senate player. To remember to put his Orn Frita later. Yeah. So now he's got five senators. Every senator he plays there a is retrieval. is yeah is a net zero because he can squabble for it back later. So you don't as long as you don't get too low to not afford aim high or not have the two battlegrounds when you need to um, for simple tricks. You don't. It's okay to over deploy senators because they you'll retrieve a, a good card hopefully for each each one that you played. So getting those two battlegrounds though, that can eventually be tough. it shouldn't be too hard. Well, if if you're avoiding a beatdown, it's it's interesting though seeing a beatdown deck that starts insurrection because Nabrin is such I, a great I card for beatdown. I talked to Reed about that. I said I didn't like it. Okay, okay, because I'm like I love Nabrin and beatdown decks. It's just, I mean, this is the perfect deck to just have two times Nabrin. In. Yeah. And surely I I I try to convince him of a few things, but he's just like, nope. It's like these cards. <laughs> uh -oh. Salucci's going to deploy the, the a, a lone stinger and, and then, nothing else. And then pass his turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Reed can download starships or anything with his yeah, objective. There's no way he can Oh, do wait. That. <laughs> that is, that's probably the funniest thing that I've seen the entire game. <laughs> that, no, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> he moves away the so stinger. Now, like, now he's fine. Now I literally no punched ability. Brian Fred in the arm and he didn't notice it was like a mosquito to him. But I was just like, what, the, what just happened? So, Salusi so does play Guri, which turns it into no ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Wise points out, Orn Fritas' text is one of the better ones. He's he's basically like takes that Mothma. He takes, a, yeah. he takes a just-drawn Battle Destiny into hand. And, and he's one of the six really Destiny great. Senators, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, if he was in deck, yeah. So, there's And Baron. he only costs one. So, Orn's a, Orn's a great one. Baron, Guri comes down. So, now he's at two Destinies. And limits to one. And limits to one. And if he can, uh, no, he's at he three destiny. No, he needs one he, more. He doesn't have enough ability for a, for a basic destiny. That's Baron funny. adds one, Gary adds one. Interesting. How to play? Help me, Lot Dodd Kenobi. 
and Stevens has drawn some. It's going to take done. another two damage. So now, now they're basically set up to do two damage and two damage, though a, a decree would make that two to one. So he'll probably find that with Lata next turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be at the bottom of his force, but that's... Um, I think it's... So another spin comes off. That's There's multiple a, spins and that, an emperor. So he's lost two. He's probably only had like two, maybe three. Yeah. Um, two might emperors. Have... So one more emperor. Oh, there's R2-D2 also. Net gain of one force. Yeah, R2. Oh, wait, no. R2 doesn't have abilities. So R2's just free-free. And Sabine, yeah, is pulled with Cricks. And she's she's not free, right? She's not a trooper. She's not a... No. I think she's, she's a scout, but good. she's not a spy or anything. Yeah, she just so does she damage. She might try and go to space at some point. To cause force loss. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's only the ground, I'm not sure if. No, I think it's. It, it, I'm pretty sure she works in space. Um, I. Th Sabine. When with an imperial. Yeah, with it doesn't say present with. So with an imperial or two oh, rebels, can you win a battle she's here? She's gonna cause damage against anybody. Yeah. Nice costume there. Not quite as cool as the Yeb Yeb cosplay. So Switchy takes a minute to read the, the front of the objective. So maybe Reed is going to give R2, think, we'll give Rogue One a... So a right, right here... Chariot. Yep, yeah, Chariot 2. And he does his uh, recirculate thing. At some point, he's not necessarily going to do it right now. But at some point, Reed can use his text to recirculate. What is uh, that? And there is a spy played over to the prison so that he can that train two like there. That looks like Sean Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> now, who is that? It's, it's so... Or is that K2SO? Oh, it is K2SO. Um, so K2SO goes over to the prison to, to do a drain. At some point, he might go over to a mall site and now that he's got spies, and then he, he splits between two sites so he can cover, he can be at two battlegrounds for Coward, and um... There's a lot of dudes in those two sites. Yeah, so I, I was gonna say so far Saluji hasn't caused any damage. Um, he, I think this flips him too, right? Yeah, because he controls two two Scarif locations, so he will flip. So now... Um, this is so so heading is two. still the top card of Reed's lost pile, um, and, and Saluji's lost like six or eight cards, but Reed has a lot of cards on table, so I think they're they're probably fairly close fairly close in life force. But I, it's hard to evaluate who's who's ahead because they both have sort of the board state they want, and it's going to be interesting to see. It's it's really going to come down to that system. How, how's Reed going to compete there? Um, versus if he can like Reed's deck will basically have to piece stuff together before he can ever go to space. Yeah, one one but the problem. Rogue one sitting there. Well, one problem with the K two S O is like if you commit Maul there and he gets stuck. Because he just declines destiny and Hujix's. That's the end of your ground that's, package. That's your ground package. Which so, is probably what Reed is banking on. Yeah. So, um. It's going to be tough for. For Salucci to One deal ball. with. And this is his force pile? He's taking a card with. He's taking oh, two so buck. He doesn't, he to doesn't add have two buck yet? Nope. There's the decree. I think he'll grab the decree. Yeah. So. But he's still going to be taking two, so he, he'll he drain for two himself. So that you can drain two of the system. Now that he's flipped, though, Reed can also place a character out of play. He doesn't have any yet to move a guy over and get an extra force drain. That's true. Yeah, yeah if he has a available Rebel and Lost Pile. Um, so... But but again, they just evened up. So Lucci's doing two of the system, and assuming Decree is out, that'll be one do, for the data vaults. Do we know what he took? I, I think it was Decree. We'll see this turn. He'll either deploy Toonbuck or deploy Decree. So there's still no battle plan or battle order. Uh, and Gamer Girl asks if the uh, plus two deploy is just on the front or if that's for remainder of game. For... And that is... Oh, jeez. How do we? That is uh, while this side up. 
it is only on the front side. So Maul only costs seven now. Dark Maul is a bargain deal now. Have you played Test of Watto at all? Yeah. What do you think of Watto? Um, are this, you, are you I like First Order up? Watto, and oh, I yeah. and I uh, think the strategic errata hurt it some, but you just use more First Order guys probably. Could it's hard to fit everything you want because oh, you also want good I mean, dudes to bluff with and stuff. Um, bluff with First Order guys. <laughs> yeah, and then I know I know they I know. pay too. Like, and that's the weakness of Watto so, is like. Once they start paying two later on, you like you just get extra weak dudes for free, and it doesn't or for two if they have Professor Goldenrod Shield out. And um, I, I think it, it's damage Peters out. It's it's fun to play, um, but I don't think it's. I played it at the Euro MPC this year, and uh, it's it, it it's a good deck. I think it's less good now. There's also a broken concentration canceler now, um, which is on the same card that pops guys off for invasion too. So yeah. That card is just insane. I didn't realize I should at least have one of that in every deck. I, I don't know that I'm going to play it, but... Well, like, if you play Invasion, right, they only <laughs> have, like, four droids. Remaker says, looks like Reed just shuffled his deck and threw 12 random cards on table. There's just a mess all over. <laughs> it's <laughs> This is... That's this basically is... what Reed did, it looks like. Yeah, but... <laughs> like, who was where? Um, so and Salusi has no idea what the whole is doing, which is make, that's going to make Salusi struggle a little bit. It's tough. The first time you play against a deck, it's hard to know what to do, and then you're just like, man, I wish I would have done this. It's such a difference, even just between the first and the second time, having just a, a second game against a deck. Um, so he's so he's gonna get the tomb buck and. <laughs> The, uh, I feel like that's kind of a waste. That Tomb Buck's not that crucial right this second. I might say that to try and like force push and like stop a beatdown or something. Force push out Maul as a yeah as a kick from a battle. You hit two dudes. Well, it's hard to hit on the flip side, but yeah, you still gotta try though. Yeah, you try and hit a couple dudes and then you force push to exclude. Um, and block a drain. And he can't. So, while well, there's, oh, it looks Is like that he, image also on the one one site. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, he played Image of a Dark Lord on... So now, re that was a, z it's a zero drain? Yeah, onto the, the um, data vault. It looks like Bodhi Rook was lost to a drain. Maybe there's no battle plan? There isn't, he didn't play battle plan. But he, he played Coward. Yeah. He played Simple Tricks, that's why there was no drain at the at the Senate. So he, so he drained did... three, free, and Bodhi Rook was lost, so that's going to let him use the flip side to cancel. There's Erica. Something. So Erica comes Multiple undercover. undercover spies. So yeah, both Erica and you 3 po And then Maul comes down not to battle, but just to occupy a site. It's probably so he can retrieve and or and not pay to drain. Yeah. I wonder if he realizes that Reed can move But he a doesn't... He, yeah, he can move that Rebel Trooper recruit Yeah. over. That's pretty good. Um, Surely he has gigs by now, though, so it's probably fine. Yeah, I don't know that he needed to do that mall because right now he's with the with the image and the Erica and the U3PO and the decree, he's taking one damage and he's doing two and you're leaving yourself open. I mean, he, I'm sure he, he has, has a gick and stuff, but like but why even waste a mall and a gick when you're taking one and doing two? It's like I would I would be setting up space a little bit more. Uh, he yeb yebs and looks at a we wish to board at once, which is the Obi and Radiant 7 puller slash effect puller, and decides not to kill it. Hmm. Um, Must uh, give him a You know, chagrin. I think I think he should be yeb yebbing here, even if he sees a mech card that he doesn't care about, because Reed has deployed oh, yeah. so many cards. That's Just what getting him down understand. low in and life force would be important. I think he should be yeb yebbing here. And yeah, and like I said, I don't like that mall play because I don't see how it advances his board state. It lets him drain Unless three. Unless he wants to kill 3PO. Maybe he thinks that he has We're Doomed or something. Okay. I guess. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe All right. there's a new no escape. John Michael asked us to look up the Sean Valdez card, so... Sean Valdez is somebody that should have been used somewhere else. He lets you move, uh, I think, spies to his site if they move away or some nonsense. It's really ridiculous. All right, Sean Valdez says, Whenever you initiated a battle at same site as Sean... Your troopers at adjacent sites who have not already battled this turn may immediately move to same site as a regular move. So you can just essentially almost react over run to your Luke battle. Run Luke, run all your troopers. Run Luke, run all your troopers. And it's not a react, so they can't even... Yeah, you can just drop him down, 
battle and be like, boop, 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 move over a bunch of troopers. That, that's a cool card. Does, is he in the deck? Yeah, he's... Is he, oh, he, was he's he the, the guy one he deployed? He's a trooper guy, right? That was Isn't K2SO. That? Oh, he does have... Did he deploy Sean Valdez? Somebody asked about Sean Valdez. Oh, but can't you just Sean Valdez warp over in the control phase and then battle with Sean Valdez? Yeah, and then warp the rest of the guys yeah, over. Yeah, and then warp the rest of the guys over. So, Which is, how did that guy know to ask about Sean Valdez? He, I do believe he's a trooper. Yeah. He has yeah. a rebel trooper like look to him. Yeah. So, But you don't even need to wait to deploy him. You can stack him at the middle site and then control phase warp him over and then warp everyone else over. I wonder how he thought text. to ask about Sean Valdez. Yeah, maybe he was deployed. I don't think he was because he'd be in the middle site if he was out. Emil says, with double agent on you 3PO, a double stack... A stacked rogue one at the system and redoes four to zero. I think Suchi has to do something. Yeah, but he didn't have to do something right there because there isn't anything stacked at the system. There was no double A. Do we miss? No, U three PO is still there. None of that. None of that's happened. And um, yeah, preemptively, Suchi could put himself to a better board state so that that doesn't happen. However, I don't think playing all of that docking bay is the is a better board he, state. He does have gig. So, I just saw the gig. Yeah, but he, now he burns Maul and Gig. Yeah, that's true. Um, all right, so Cassian was played, Jin was played, Delavar was dude played. was played, Sabine Delavar was played. She'll cause and she'll cause two damage because two rebels are there. So damage. He, and he knew Sabine great. was there, and now he can't force push out. Yeah, I'm just I don't understand that mall play. He, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> so John Michael was saying trooper beatdown is his wheelhouse. That's how he knew about Sean Valdez. That's hilarious. He's there. I think I can almost. Apparently I won't Wall confirm had a or Sean deny that there's a Sean Valdez in the deck. Yeah, uh, there, there'd have to be. That's an amazing card for this deck. When you can move him and then react everyone else well, you over. you know, like what would have been amazing in uh, Seleucis and Miski's Set Your Course deck, a Krennic, right? They, they wouldn't have to start Kuwait Drive Yards, but neither one of them realized that either. No, because then you have to start the new effect, or the new no, interrupt to pull him. How his do you game, pull him? His game text does Sure, it. no, 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 but He's then how do you get him? He's got title. Does he? Yes. You, he does Death Star Commandant. Oh. So you just pull him. So I was thinking you had to use the new interrupt no. and then take him and then play him and then he could flip you and pull your system. Like, well, we told them this morning. Misty like opened up his box and, and looked long like he wanted to go find one immediately. So he just started third effect. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah, and then you don't he have to pay so two. Distraught. You don't have to pay two for quad drive yards and you get a third effect. That's pretty yep. amazing. So he does hit three PO, which is could be useful. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be a Jedi Lev in the deck. But Del- Delavar back. can restore him to normal if he wants. Oh jeez. But then he could hit him again. Yeah. That would have to be his second swing. Yeah. So. So. Uh, oh, the, the trooper recruit. Uh, or not the trooper recruit, the. Uh, the garrison. The light side garrison has to be. Did he do. Oh, he's swinging he at somebody else. Yeah. The light side garrison has to be, like, hit first. And read cancels. And then it's minus two for each time what, it's hit what? or something. Oh, the nightfall droid. So he's got a 2x whatever droid that says all your characters there are power plus all two. All rebels and aliens battling under nighttime conditions are plus two. Rebels and aliens under nighttime conditions. Okay, so all of his dudes right now are power like four or five each. He's um, got like 50 some power, so there'll be a get coming. Yeah. So he hits the nightfall droid, he hits the 3PO. And Reed, can you not Corporal Delavar a droid? And, uh, and... Can we bring out Corporal Delavar? Yeah. And, uh, People in the chat, uh, Tom Kelly specifically, is pointing out that um, this mall play isn't bad because of how much Reed committed to um, the board to dealing with it. Yeah, how much cards he has on table. So Corporal Delavar says once uh, may operate on your disarmed character or just hit non-droid okay. character. Yeah, so that's why Sluchi picked up and read it, and that's why he he just targeted the two droids. Um, AKA Magno. Magno. Versus Wampa one. All right, so yeah, Reed loses a bunch of stuff. Gix, uh, Jin, Jin gets to peek at his hand. The Sluchi's playing the Gick before losing the Maul, which that, that needs to be in the right order, of course. But um, yeah, I'm sure Reed knew he had a Gick, but he's got to draw out the Gix. Um, he probably doesn't if know he wants to be down. He he probably doesn't know Sluchi runs too. Um, he does get to look at his hand. So if the second one was in there. And Maul goes to stay on the table. Nope, nope. Maul and the Gick. Maul tried to stay on the table. 
Yeah, so so Reed Reed forces out the Gick. He loses a few things, and uh, he's solidly set up across all the sites. He's he really needs to find Corin um, to answer that U three PO, so that he can start doing extra damage now. But because I think we're gonna see what happened in the in the first game with Salucci, where he's just getting damage, getting damage, and the Salucci opponent gets low on life force. Already looking for his once per game too to get back the Maul and the Gick. Yeah. So he grabs. Oh, hear me, baby. Uh, I feel like that's a really weird card to grab. It's probably fine. Reed doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in his deck. That's probably the best one. Really? I think there's two of it. To just So Reed pulls a shield. I think he played Battle Order of the Sun. Uh, Desai points out you can't play... Oh, if you do the Krennic plan, you can't both pull the Worm turn one and pull Krennic, so you'd have to choose. So you can't then get a system turn one. I think that's probably okay though. You just pull the war room and next turn pull Krennic yeah. and and get your get a system. Um, but that is true. You would be limiting it to only getting to pull one. Um, Tom Kelly says he'd be worried about it. Could be worse. So that's why grabbing. Hear me, baby. I, I just know, don't. I don't remember if Reed plays that. Or not. I just I just don't see the need to grab Hear Me, baby. No, not really. Not this early. Who knows why crazy interrupts Wampa uh, one has? Oh, on John deck. Michael points out there is. Salucci does have sense as a if he needs against something like um, it could be worse something like that I'm going to go look at what effects what and, shield. and shields Reed yeah, has on table and I'll be back in a minute entertain the people entertain the people well it looks like every single center except for Pastel Argente is showing up now maybe Axmo Reed is definitely not doing a whole lot of damage, so it'll be interesting to see what his space plans are. Because I know what's in his deck, and it'll, be, it'll just be interesting. Which, does he have do or do not? Uh, there is no do or do not yet, but he's not shield busted. That Hear Me Baby was just his third shield. The, t the three on table now are um, uh, Grabber, Senate Shield, and now battle plan was just pulled with um, with Hear Me Baby. I'm surprised this Lucy played Black Sun Fleet yesterday, but not today when he has like five bounty hunter ships or five ships again. Black Sun Fleet. Yeah, um, he didn't like the synergy with first strike. He he had first strike out, and then his his opponent was retrieving from battling, and he wasn't with Black Sun Fleet out because it says you may not retrieve for initiating battle. Oh. So um. But. Yeah, Black Sun Fleet's still just a really good card. I, uh, so Salucci here decides he needs to start putting on more damage, I guess. Um, which I'm not sure I agree with, because again, he's taking two right now. One at the docking bay, one from the data vaults. And he's doing and now two, he can't, and he's ahead. Uh, so Reed, now he can't grab the all-wings combo, which could be dangerous. Yeah, so um, Reed plays all-wings and grabs red five. Which, didn't he do that earlier? How did that not... I have no idea, honestly, how that card got back in there. He definitely pulled 3PO, it. 3PO. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. Um, I think it was a little early for Salucci to split space here. He's he's taking one and one and he's doing two, and if Reed gets a foothold in space, um, the game becomes a lot harder. Maybe Salucci played Naboo so he could once per game for, like, six. Because he was like pawing at his senators, and then he deployed it. So he probably was thinking about getting them all. And yeah. The, so now he's back. got a second battleground. So um, he sees the sense now. Yeah, and he might pull to it or not. He he's uh oh uh, also squabbling is grabbed on the grabber. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, the yeah. So now he has two battlegrounds. So next turn he can once per game retrieve. Back, back to back. tank comes out. Oh, thank you, Reed, for showing that to us. <laughs> He saw me like peering at his. All right, and Bausch comes out to the mole's landing site and breaks her cover, and she's deploying minus two on Tatooine, so just pays four for her. Making the best out of all his his plays. Yeah. Now, can you pull her with seeking audience also? No, uh, it said Lando. Uh, I think you might be able to deploy her because she's got Jabba's palace icon, right? No, she, she doesn't have Jabba's palace icon. Which, why would Lando, though? Yeah, they're both from the same enhanced... 
uh, Lando Leia. Yeah, so it, d it does let you pull Leia. Let's check if that, what Leia, or what icon Bausch has. But Lando doesn't have that icon either. Which is weird, Leia right? does not. Let's check, let's check Lando with Vibro X. Because I'm pretty sure he has the funny little dot also. Lando with Vibrox does not. So he is not eligible to be pulled. I think that was a mistake on Reed's part. Can we pull up Seeking again? Yeah. That's weird. So Java's Palace Lando, Java's Palace Leia. Yeah. So and and uh And Definitely Lando with Vibrox has the little pr premium icon in, or whatever. That's well, well. Um, all right, so it looks like something was sensed. Oh, a double agent on 3PO was double agent was attempted and was a sense. Oh, he drew a six. Oh no, he doesn't have his he highest quality characters. It's like a three. Yeah, so he just... Oh, yeah, Erica. No, Erica's not... She, can, Erica doesn't count, though. They're, yeah, she, they're inactive, except for blocking their drains. Well, and for, like, interrupts or something, though, but I think she would be inactive for that. Um, but, yeah, so he missed the sense. So he double agent, but he, he didn't... double agent. He hasn't retreated with Wonkling, which is surprising. Right, and the other interesting thing is, like, now you 3 on top, Squabble will be able to get it back. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six cent six senators out so it'll still get the maul and gick too because he's only taken two damage since then so I think why is he why is he losing force I don't know why he's losing force there he played double agent so here lot lot dot is taking a card oh Baskel he pinged one for Bas with Baskel because he's at Naboo system okay. And so he lost TK422, 421, one of those, TK42 something. 422. 22. Why isn't he in his post, Joe? <laughs> and now he's, uh, he, then he lot dotted, then he paid to drain. Uh, can't quite see, Nightfall was the most recent one before that, it looked Baze. like a, oh, base. And, and paid to drain again, probably. Yep, and yeah, I think he's counting to see that he can pay to retrieve also this turn. And um, so let's see. We're looking. Yeah. So he does pay to drain another two. So we're looking now, at Salucci's doing um, draining for four. Pinging with Basco makes five. And yeah, yeah, if he wants. Right. Um, and he's taking one for the tapes, two at the beach, one at the docking bay, and two at the mall if site. He, but he'd have to pay a lot. Right. Oh, there's so, three PO back with no escape. Okay, no escape. U three PO. I don't know if you do that there or mall site. Either way, I guess he could be double agented, but I probably do it to mall site so that if he finds Corrin, then Corrin's stuck over there not doing anything instead of being able to, you know, be on a ship or do something. Because mm -hmm. like there's there's no advantage to that happening at the beach first, unless he's going to take out Bausch with with mall or something. I guess that is a reason to. He loses one to Yeb Yeb, a yeah, spin off top. I, it was either that or, or Starship Levy. Oh, okay. Or Starship Love combo. Now he's just trying to get Reed down in life force, and um, he, he needs to be able to afford squabbling. If Reed, if Reed can't Because he started the aim high effect, and so he needs to be able to afford to retrieve at some point. Oh, um. All right. Someone asked, oh, if he is playing I Have You Now, and that's why he grabbed... Uh, hear me, baby, so that he could do that to try and clear a sight. I did um, not he, see he, I have you now. He doesn't... Yeah, I, I believe that was one of the final cuts it was in last night at some point, but it's not now. Um, Pete won the first game Pete, Pete won well, the Dark Side uh, Lightsaber Combat versus Tom Hades uh, Diplo by 13. So that's the update on the other semifinals game. Um, maybe... Queso, you can go. Is Queso, I haven't seen him comment in a while. I'll pick someone else. Tom Kelly, will you go post that on the day two live updates thread for anyone not watching the Twitch stream but checking the forums? Um, oh, maybe Hayes did it, but 
if you could go check for us, Tom, it's hard to it's hard to go try and post on forums and pay attention and commentate too. So I'd appreciate that. Um, all right, so you three people came back down with that no escape, and has anything happened since? No, just deciding what to do. Reed's Reed's wondering how he can get to space right now. He's he's potentially draining at. I guess only two sites, but he still wants to start draining he's three and, and block the, a drain of he's two. He's going to have to move the rogue one up or something. Yeah, he needs he needs to be able to block that drain of two, and so he's uh, he's trying to decide is now the right time to do that. So he moves over Cassian, who did not get used in that first battle because there was no one to even use in his lost power versus that mall. He no, didn't, he didn't the rogue one is probably going up. Yeah, and Cassian will be able to do his cancel. Sabine can go up too, so if he can outpower, he, she can cause damage. Um, I don't know that he will outpower with just the one ship versus all of them, but it, it doesn't hurt to have her in case you do. And who, so is this Delavar and the Trooper are at the other side? Yeah, but he has his control phase move if he. Well, I mean, if Maul, if Maul comes. Yeah, down. but he, he might be holding barrier, things like that. All right, so. Oh, oh no, and then he. Why would he not stay at the beach where he can drain one? He control or I mean, oh, that's true. But he has to place a dude out of play to do it. He's he's only gonna have a limited. I mean, I guess he, he plays probably like thirty guys. Okay. Oh, is he? Jesus. Uh, what was the number? It was thirteen, I think. Yeah, that did he won that uh, Pete won by thirteen that first game. Uh, Somebody told me to quit being a dick on the stream. I'm just like, what? Am I being a dick? Are you? I don't think. <laughs> he's probably just trying to decide if he wants to try him all one more time he's, he just paid two to stack squabble to once per game and just paid to insurrect, uh, aim high did he didn't retrieve or did he drain not yet because those two force he used to stack it were the first ones he he used his turn Was oh was that at the end yeah I don't think he that was on his turn. He just had a whole stack of force and no reserve deck. No, this is yeah. No, he he wouldn't have left no reserve deck. Ships could come down and battle him and stuff. So uh, this had to be on his turn because now he's yeb yebbing. You can only yeah. yeb yeb on your turn. Yeah, you're right. So he just activated, did that, and that's it. That's all he had force for. So yeah. Force? It was custom. Yeah. Well, well like so clearly, so right here, right here. He he played. He paid two to stack, six to retrieve. That's eight. He retrieved six. That's fourteen. He has one left. That's fifteen. But he just lost one to Yeb Yeb, so he's down to fourteen in life force. But yeah, he only had nine, and he needed eight to retrieve. Right there, he loses two to to uh, Bausch's drain. One of them's a Gick, which is an important card if Maul doesn't want to come down again. Probably what he'll do is drop Maul free on on Bausch at some point. Yeah, so he plays a rebel out of play, moves a dude over, and then he can drain one extra at the docking bay. Salucci top decks the Emperor shuttle. So Salucci, I think just. I think it was a mistake not to walk him back to double edge. I think he's down to about eleven life force and like two in hand. It's it's a tight game, and Reed's I think down to about eight. So Corn Horn will break the spies cover. Corn comes down for two force with nightfall. And that's why I thought U3PO to Bausch was a better play. But I mean, I guess Corrin would be over there. It doesn't matter that much. It probably doesn't doesn't really matter. And and swing twice and draw destiny and. No, you just you have to control. Okay. Uh, you're probably right. Yeah, each Naboo location you control. So this is blocking the two. And there's no cannons, which Baron has the cannons. Yeah, why didn't he so battle? I guess he because he needed to retrieve. But he didn't do any damage that turn. Basically, he he retrieved six, but he then he took another round of. Four more damage, so he retrieved six and then took four, 
I don't know that that was worth it. Yeah, not being, that's sentence major. That sentence major. Because he did no round, really no damage that round. Um, to drain, you're gonna struggle. Oh, Cassian can prevent the the shot. If if that's Baron true. shoots, Cassian can just place a dude out of play to stop it. So, but you're still drawing multiple destiny and and outpowering and. Right, but if you cap them to one and and you outpower, and Tomb Buck allowed to attrition too, you outpower and you're immune if he, he draws below a five. Huh. So it looks like Maul comes down free against Bausch. Uh, is your mic off? Yeah, you muted yourself at some point. You're wow. back. Have I not been talking at all? No, they, That's great. they thought you were all quiet because someone said you were a dick and so you got all sad. Yeah, Eric whining is talking. pretty much a fucking animal is what it is. Yeah, good call Crypto on that Cassian preventing the shot. That was that was definitely why we so put I'm, him up there. I probably didn't say anything too clever while I was muted. I made Joe Olsen chuckle a couple times. They could hear you through my mic. It was just quieter. Oh. No, and it's... there's the first strike. So it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be under 10 either way. It might even be within 5. The Senate deck has definitely deployed a lot of cards at this point also. So the next matchup is going to be Black Sun versus the Yane deck we saw earlier. And that'll be a, that'll be an interesting interactive match too. So I'm excited to see that. So he battles and did he first strike? I guess Reed did lose one. But uh, he opted not to pay to retrieve. What was the five and the one for? I think space. two destiny, yeah. But, uh, Fett and. I don't know what. And he just took that one and. I don't know what the first two was for. He just took that one with. Oh, he swung with Maul and missed. Oh, that was Maul. Now... I thought it was Tarkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Yeah, it was it was small. He he deployed free to his site. He swung. He missed. They both drew destiny. Uh, maybe he didn't miss. He didn't turn Bausch sideways, but he just peeled one. I guess he could have been outpowered by that much because he drew a five for destiny. Yeah, so he was outpowered by one more than her forfeit covered. So she dies. Rebellion's hope dies. Guri moves over, and Yeb yeah, yeah, peaks sure season admiral's order. And I don't see why he wouldn't just. I think you I think you have to here. You're taking more damage, and you need to just cut him down. He doesn't, though. Wow. I don't know. Reed's probably getting pretty low on life force, also. They both are, yeah. It's it's hard to say without sitting there and knowing exactly what. Um, Casey Annis says you shouldn't swear on stream, I guess, because this is going to go to YouTube. Oh, man. All right. All right, got it. Yeah, Yeb Yeb is a cost because Reed isn't paying to drain and Steve is, but he's only paying to drain at one location right now. And um, and if he can get the faster he can kill Reed, he's taking more damage per round than well, he's dishing Reed, out. I'm so, guessing Reed might start fighting in the space possibly also to retrieve because he has lots of forfeit worth of guys and then he can true. move over to Baron. True. And that seems like maneuver. R2 adds to the maneuver of Rogue One also. <laughs> Chris Schoenthal has a message for you. Oh, man. I I can't say anything back. I've been sworn to uh, no more F-bombs. It's good to see so many people enjoying what this. If I, what if I drop the W-bomb and start calling Reed Wampa 1 again? I've, I said I was going to do that and just completely forgot. All right, so um, so now it's a drain of two, three, three. Yeah, one at the docking bay, two at the beach. And Reed didn't have to and use one the Tujik, so he can just throw another spy. Yeah, and, and one the for the the plan, the uh, plan. So he's doing four and only taking two when he trains. I'm wondering uh, if Reed will drop lone spy over to uh, the landing side. Again. I don't know that he has any cards in hand. He's at about. 
six in, yeah. in life force. So that's why I think you needed the Yeb Yeb there because you're only doing two. Yeb Yeb makes it three. You just kill him a little bit faster instead of taking an extra he, turn he of might four. might end up giving Reed an extra turn. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I think... So if you read, you're battling into three destinies and you're capped at one, but if you can... Cassian can cancel one, and then if you can just forfeit, like, three random dudes, and... I guess you don't Cassian cancel, so you can run in front of Baron. Um, you just forfeit, like, three random dudes, but you get the first strike swing and move over. He may want to wait one more turn for that. Looks like he did battle, maybe. Yeah. What makes him battle for free, though? Nothing. Oh, he's, he no, he's just oh, maybe, peeling. I guess he's he... just in control phase. Reed was deciding how much to activate. So he's he's peeling to drains and stardust. So he loses four there. And, yeah, this I think this is going to be tight w within... Definitely within ten, probably within five, either way. And then the next game, Black Sun versus the Yanni Tatooine Careful Planning deck will... Um, Decide the match. Probably. Decide the match. Yeah, that'll be that'll be an interesting one. Or another move Salucci has is breaking Erica's cover at some point and um, battling, battling with her. Chief. Yeah, because especially K2S over there. okay. So Reed moves away. Now that Guri's there, which means he can do three damage again because Baskel plus a drain of two, and if he wants, he could drain at the Senate. So that means he could do four this turn. Yeb Yeb five, Erica battle six, and then even a Baron battle seven. I think that's more than Reed has. I think he can take him out this turn via first strike stuff, even without Yeb Yeb being possibly. Scott Lingrell agrees. Pete won by. T1 by 13 over Hade in their first game. And I don't know if Tom Hade ever resurfaced, so they might be still on break. They might have been going to get food or something. <sighs> Alright, so he pays 3 to drain 2 at Nabu after pinging with Baskel. And then I think if he... Oh, Reed does appear to be losing from hand, but maybe drew a couple. And I think, though, if Maybe he's... Maybe thought he had limited. Yeah. He's battles in space. See, I would have broken Erica's cover there. He still could, right? No, she only breaks cover in deploy phase, Spice. Uh, and she can t in control phase to fire a weapon or whatever, but the, yeah, you can't in, in battle phase. He is, it looks like he is going to try and shoot. <laughs> Vikram, he, he probably doesn't. Vikram Bali says, real talk. No, no, he doesn't realize Cassian. He just got it. Because he only had one battle that he left. He tried to shoot with it. So oh, shoot. And he, he's using Cassian. Oh, wow. Yeah, he thought he had a guaranteed hit and just sh and shoot it lost. He was like, why would you move in front of that? You must have. And then he tried to shoot it lost and got blown out. Whoops. And that's the end of the Baron. Yeah, and he's going to lose two to Sabine. One to Sabine. Oh, yeah, Decree. And Reed doesn't have to lose anything. So, uh, Tobias posted something about on the forums about no idea and trying to build a deck around it. And Vikram Bali just said, Real talk, I thought his post V9 thread was just frustration with trying to build new stuff. Did not realize the new objective was called no idea until yesterday. <laughs> he thought he was just saying he had no idea what to do. And it didn't realize, no, it's about no idea the objective. We're just going to get puns forever. <laughs> Tom says, it's Stinger all over again. <laughs> and now there's a problem with retrieval. Now that he's only on one battleground. So someone asked what what just happened. Um, basically, Tom, or uh, uh, Steven, cycled an Accelerate to have a five. Um, and he battled with Baron with that as his only destiny to pay one to shoot and just make Rogue One immediately go lost. But Rogue One had Cassian on it, who placed a rebel out of play to cancel a weapon destiny. 
and that I, mean, I definitely lost a play testing game to Matt because I thought it was only Battle Destiny, and I tried to IG edit his Chewbacca, and he just canceled it with Cassian. I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. So Cassian canceled that, so then he had no no Destiny, and uh, he Which just read lost. An extra damage and too. now Reed can drain an extra one, and now he's not at a second battleground. If he does break Erica's cover in battle, he won't retrieve with first strike, and yeah, that was a that was a mistake. So Salucci has one card left. So Reed's gonna win by. If Reed has red five something. and a pilot still, maybe. No, I don't guy. think he has enough life force well, to point it. If he can, throw, like three he life can force. throw a guy down and attack the Senate. I don't even know that he has enough to deploy a dude, and I think he's like at literally three life force or something. We'll see. We'll see how much he wins by, but. Um, yeah, I, I think Reed was... I mean, Reed might have a, a hand that I don't know about. Let me let me pop in and see. Because if he has a hand, he'd probably just play a guy and attack the Senate. I didn't realize Lucy was so low in Life Force until, like, literally just close to now. We're seeing if Reed has a hand. Joe wants to look. Does Reed have a hand? Yeah, so he, uh, Reed has a hand of two cards and about three in life force, and Slucci just has one in life force. So, um, he pings one, uh, with Baskel. He can't pay to drain. Um, and. So I'll just yeb yeb. Which Reed can lose from hand. He had two in hand. One for, one for Basco, one for yeb yeb. Oh no, because he can peek at the top of of reserve, obviously. And then yeb yeb it. Wait, why did he draw? I don't know. I guess he said some about yeb yeb. Maybe you have to lose one as a cost, as an initiation, and so then their one doesn't go lost? That could be it. Um, or maybe it was active. Alright, so they're counting. counting I guess it's active, it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll get you. Um, Tom says Reed should have just moved Rogue One but then he could have battled and lost one same it's as the Vasco one it doesn't matter it, it would still would but have he had cards difference. in hand but yeah I but think still didn't matter. Obvi obviously that Baron was a big mistake Reed, Reed won by like three I think if if he, that doesn't happen and he just moves ships he uh he maybe gets one more drain in, and maybe Salucci wins by like three. It's it's a mistake that might have cost a, a handful of life force, but it's really going to come down to the next game. We're going to probably stream in in ten minutes or so. We'll we'll go offline, stop this recording, and um, and we'll be back in a little bit with game number two of this match.